elevator system. Go crap the right for some great deals. Hey, I heard you're going to the core. How about grabbing me some dinner with me first? Great, thanks for treating me. Over here, I know a shortcut. Are we going to Grillby's? Oh. Well, here we are. So, your journey's almost over, huh? You must really want to go home. Hey, I know the feeling, Bartle. Though, maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Down here, you already got food, drink, friends. This is what you have to do. Really worth it? Ah, uh, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Hey, let me tell you a story. So I'm a sentry in the Snowden Forest, right? I sit out there and watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Unfortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door. And it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. So one day, I'm knocking them out like usual. I knocked on the door and say knock-knock. And suddenly, from the other side, I hear the woman's voice. Who's there? So, naturally, I respond. Dishes. Dishes soon. Dishes are a very bad joke. <laughs> then she just howls with laughter. Like it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep them coming. And she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock, knock. I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I did not know you could yodel. Wow. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. The pirate gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. But she told me to come by again, and so I did. I did again, and it then. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes through the door. It rules. One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what's up. She told me something strange. If a human never comes through this door, could you please promise something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now I hate making promises. And this woman, I don't even know her name, but someone was sincerely likes bad jokes. As intelligent, you know, can't say no to. Do you get what I'm saying? The promise I made to her. You know what would happen if she hadn't said anything? Buddy. You'd be dead where you stand. Hey, fighting up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. Hey, what's that supposed what that looks supposed to mean? Am I wrong? Eh. Well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. Cause someone really cares about you. Hey there, Kimmy, and I realized I forgot to make a reservation. But I didn't want to look like I messed up, so I kept walking in anyways. Now I'm just kind of consuming dew off this fungus. Fungus. Originally, we dung maze with puddles in order to foil the human attacks. 
But now building things is winding and confusing. It's off some awful condition. You can't uh, go two feet without being held up to your armpits and puzzles. From the schedule. Comedians, dancers, sands. Seems like there's a break now. I want to get the car. It's insane. The inside is a maze made of shuffle parts. That means we can shuffle the layout of will. Boy, why should I have fun day? I sure love puzzles. I mean, there is a search for me three and I'm very funny people. I have to my jokes. Now, my son, he wants to be a comedian. Like his father. But his jokes aren't funny. He does this awful pun. He's an appearance to the family. <laughs> That's not funny. Since his mom passed on, he couldn't stand living at home anymore. So he ran away. I haven't seen him since. I'm a terrible father. That's not funny. You'll find me to reserve your try, you still have all your food at your. If we are at this hotel, it fills you with determination. And wait, are we done here? Oh, let's just see. If it's too long, I'll just cut it up anyways. Welcome to MT Resort, Hotline's biggest apartment, building tunnel hotel. Whether you are here for the night or st still live here, MT Resort provides itself on a great stay. Just pass through, nice! MTT Resort prides itself on being passed through. But we like don't really need anything. Oh my god, can you go get some glam burgers? You don't really need anything. What if I pay you like a pound of cheese if you get back ten dollars of my butt? So like what's up? I'm Betty and this is my best friend Ketty. I'm Ketty and this is my best friend Bretty. But your wares. The stuff inside is like totally wicked expensive. But like the stuff we've found is like totally wicked cheap. You should like totally wicked buy all of it. I mean like where does anyone get guns or food or we found it in the garbage? It's good garbage. It's really like really good garbage. Where do we get the garbage? Like the garbage store? Duh. <laughs> Waterfall mostly. I found a gun in a dumpster. Oh my god, what a ton. Oh my god, what a ton. He's like my robot husband? As sure as he's like, my robot husband? I think we're like, both going to marry him. We're both like, already married to him. He's just like, doesn't know it yet. So like, Dr. Alphys built Melaton, right? That's like, what they tell you. But like, Melaton always acts like, being built was 
his idea somehow. And even right after he was built, he had like Alphys was an old friend. Like they're like not friends anymore. Yeah. I like me and Bratty best friends forever. What? Why did that one say old? About Alphys. Oh my god, Alphys. Oh my god, Alphys. She used to live on our street. She was like a big sister. I mean, like, if your big sister takes you on a trip to the dump, she shows up the coolest places to find trash. She was always collecting these weird cartoons. Then she became the royal scientist. Yeah, we haven't seen her in forever. So Alphys has always, like, through Asgore, is super cute. So like, I'm pretty sure she made Menton to like, totally impress him. A robot with a soul that's like, super relevant to his hobbies. So after seeing Menton, Asgore asked her to be all the science stuff for him, but no one's like, seen anything from her yet, or her at all. She's like, just stays in her lab all day, like, live a little girl. Yeah, like us. Oh my god, he's a total goober. He's a big fuzzy goofball. Like, I love that guy. He's like, so nice. God, we're like, so hyped for the destruction of humanity. Like, see you later. Look how people are just supplying you with the guns if you're doing a genocide run. A hotel, cool. I never stayed at a fancy hotel. Really? Me neither. Papyrus. Papyrus. We should go on vacation sometime. Yeah, that's vacation to a hotel. Whoa, a fancy restaurant? Psh! Who needs that when your friends are great chefs? Well, maybe our cooking abilities aren't exactly perfect. Oh, that's... Oh. Nah, we totally are. Eat it, punk. I can't do it. You hear spaghetti stop against the receiver. There's a section on the Inscription. Royal memory found and built. 2000 X Menton ended last week. What? This elevator goes straight to the capital, but it stopped working. The hotel is doing its best to accommodate everyone stuck here. He's a slime. I'm outraged. Oh, room service. Got my seat. Okay, then. It's locked from inside. Ooh, room service. Got my Cinnabon. You flatten the Cinnabon until it's paper thin. He slid it under the door. Huh? That's just the way I want. Here's the tip. You get 99G. You're shuffling. Seems like you could put something on the door. But you didn't have anything appealing. Okay. Seems busy. Oh me. Oh, 
Oh. Welcome to MTT Brand Burger Emporium, home of the Glam Burger. Sparkle up to your day. Sparkle up your day. Trademark. He's taking the shape of Metaton's face. Don't ask, please. Why is this so expensive? <laughs> Why is this person trying to sell me something? This is a hamburger restaurant. I'm just trying to survive. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh huh. It's against the rules to talk to customers who haven't bought anything. Have a spectacular day. Did it change colors? Yes, we know the elevator to the city is not working. Because of the incident, rooms are running at a special rate. 200 to your room. Interested? Don't let us know. Do let us know. Have a sparkling day. 